So I was trying to think of a second upload for today that was kind of rebuild or franchise oriented. And I thought, okay, let's do 10 glitchy players to trade for. And when I talk about glitchy players, I'm talking about players who are really easy to trade for, but are also really good in franchise. So I'm not going to be talking about Mike Trout or Nolan Arenado, Cody Bellinger, players like that. I'm talking about players who are kind of like low 80s and below and give you really good results and again they're not that hard to trade for so 10 glitchy players in franchise that will help you out in your franchise or your rebuilds that you should definitely check out so if you guys want to see another rebuild tomorrow let's hit 500 likes on this video i already had the team picked out i already know who i'm gonna do so if you guys want to see that one in the morning 500 likes on this video and i'll definitely bring that to you guys tomorrow so if you do enjoy the video thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always get in the comment section and let me know what you guys want to see for mlb the show 20 content speaking of content if you missed the video from earlier today what are you doing you guys can see it on screen now it was the miami marlins rebuild and i'm going to put a link to it above my head go and give it a watch it was a really good one we found some of those glitchy players that i'm talking about and we actually made a really solid team so go check it out link above me so let's hop into it let's talk about the first player and uh yeah, let's let's just get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into just a normal save that I have with the Orioles and I'm going to use the Orioles because the Orioles don't have a lot of players that have good trade value. And that way I want to show you guys that we can actually get a, a decent amount of these players pretty easily. So let's talk about the first one. He's on the Nationals and he's a center fielder in Adam Eaton. And you're probably thinking, why would I want Adam Eaton? Well, one, his contract isn't bad. And when you look at his stats or attributes, I should say, when you look at his attributes, they're very good, pretty well-rounded defensively, not, not amazing, but not bad. And then you look at his hitting stats. That's where he really shines. And I'm going to show you, you can trade for him really, really easily. We're just going to throw Pat Vileka in there, which he's an okay player, but long-term, not really a good solution. And he's not even a starter. So he's a, a, a piece that you could definitely get rid of. And then we'll just throw in what? Pedro Severino get this deal done and we got Adam Eaton so let me show you a three-year kind of like projection or a three-year stat line for Adam Eaton all right so he's 33 years old with the Cubs after three seasons and look at those stat lines you can see right above my head the 312 average 304 304 OPS is above 800 he's hitting close to 20 home runs this is good production from you know an aging center fielder who you can get for super cheap and even his contract stays around the four million mark really good pickup for a really low trade so i like this pickup for adam Eaton. next up we're gonna go to the indians for domingo santana look at those hitting stats vision is a little bit low so this one is a little risky sometimes he does drop an average but he usually hits around 20 plus home runs and again super easy to trade for pat valenka basically gets the deal done i'm gonna throw in this shortstop andrew velasquez a low hitting stats or low hitting stats so he's not really gonna progress too much more that's the deal right there domingo santana really good pickup you know 27 years old low contract as well that's a huge plus let me show you that three-year stat line all right, as you can see with his or he's with the Yankees up to an 86 overall and look at those statistics 20 home runs 38 home runs 25 home runs hitting 280 plus 800 plus OPS and again contract around around 9 million by the time 2025 comes around that's not bad you could probably even get him for a little bit cheaper this is a pretty solid pickup in Domingo Santana I like this one again can play left field you look at his attributes I'd probably keep him in left field but again a good power bat to have in the lineup we're hopping over to the marlins and we're staying in the outfield for mitch hanniger i mean you look at his contract three million plus arbitration for the next two which is really solid 29 years old so he's gonna be on the edge like kind of on the edge of his prime but you know what you look at those attributes again a really good hitter okay fielding wise as well and for again Pat Vileka, so we know a player that's under 70, and then we're getting rid of a 48 overall, and then a player who has B potential, but he's 58 overall, and that's the trade right there. So again, really easy, and like it's just super easy to do. Like it's crazy. So 
there's that. Let me show you these three uh, three year projections. So he has dipped a little bit, but his potential has gone up. Still around the you know the same for hitting. Some stats have gone up for sure, especially that contact versus lefties. But when you look at his statistics, 29 home runs, about mid 20s and above. You know had a little bit of a dip in average this season but you look at his previous two looks really good the ops has stayed above 800 this entire time so again a really good pickup for really cheap and you know what i just showed you three outfielders center left and right there's a pretty easy outfield to put together all right we're still sticking in the outfield because there's some really good outfielders to pick up really easily so you guys can see dylan tate 51 overall and 25 years old we're gonna stick with that shortstop andrew velasquez and then also we're gonna throw in rio ruiz well, you know a little bit of value but nothing too crazy you guys can see the the feedback meter going back and forth we're gonna go for a player i was expecting to have a breakout year prior to him um, getting hit in the jaw with the fastball and that's willie calhoun 25 years old, 73 overall, but look at those hitting stats. Can also play second base, which I think would be a little bit better based on his fielding stats, but he gets really good really quickly. Let me show you. So he does have a little bit of a morale like effect because he's not in the majors. You can see he's in the minors, but giving like you look at his stats, 270 which is pretty solid. You're looking at home runs in the mid 20s. So he has that pop off the bat, can hit extra base hits as well. I mean, look at those hitting stats. Yeah, you had to give up two players that were under 70 overall and then like a 58 overall, but this is definitely worth it. This is a guy, if you give a lot of playing time to put him at second base, he'll even jump to a high 70. So if you move him from left to second base, you're automatically gonna get probably close to an 80 overall player. And I think he kind of, kind of fits that uh, second base spot a little bit better. So Willie Calhoun, I like this pickup a lot and he develops really quickly hitting wise. So next we're going to go to one of my favorite catchers to pick up in any franchise or rebuild just because he's so good hitting wise and that's the Brewers new catcher Omar Nervaez and again super easy to pick up if I can get him for basically Pat Valeka and then Steve Wilkerson that's a good pickup for sure. I mean just the starting stats are good enough but let me show you what he turns into. So again a really good hitting catcher not so good defensively but look at that 84 overall hitting 30 by the time that third season's over really low contract and look at these stats 20 plus home runs high average good ops the guy is really solid and look at those attributes after a few years like this is a really good catcher to pick up for really really cheap like this is one of my this is gonna be one of my top pickups for sure so omar narvaez he's a beast all right so this one i actually was i like i I had to search a little bit for this one and like I'm actually this is gonna be another one of my favorites for sure Luis Arias of the twins like I, I wasn't even like looking for someone like this but when I saw his stats and what he becomes after a few seasons he is a definite pickup I mean this one is a little bit more difficult to trade for um so let's let's we're gonna have to figure something out but again Velasquez gets most of the deal done and then we can throw in probably i know a, a perfect player so a lot of teams usually have a player who are in their like mid to high 20s and are like kind of in the low 60s overall but have a potential usually they're not going to get higher than like 70 75 and a player like that is chance cisco this is a perfect opportunity to throw him into a trade for a player who's going to impact your lineup right away like luis arias look at those contact stats and that's what you're getting with, with uh, Luis Arias. He is very, very good at the plate. Let me show you. All right, so he's up to an 83. He's not getting the starting time he'd want, um, but still, 83 is really good. He's only 24, you guys can see after a few seasons. He's still at a low contract, about to hit arbitration, which, ooh, I love that, low contracts. But let me show you these stats. Hitting 300 and above every single year hitting 20 plus home runs crazy extra bases this guy is so good look at that vision look at that discipline that contact stats this is a huge pickup 24 years old too oh man this guy is going to be a key piece for uh, a bunch of my rebuilds like this is a good second baseman to pick up all right so this is actually a player that was in the marlins rebuild and was actually really really like pretty good like i really enjoyed him in the lineup and i kind of didn't expect it Corey dickerson so again a player that is going to require just a little bit more than usual but what we'll do is we'll throw in that andrew velasquez um 
maybe someone like Pat Baleka as well. And then we can just throw in probably that pitcher that we use, like Josh Rogers. Okay, he doesn't get it done. That's fine. I know we have somebody else that will. Um, Miguel Castro? No? Okay. Okay, we'll throw in a little someone a little bit better. DJ Stewart. Man, we'll get that job done. That is still a trade I would do. Corey Dickerson just hit 30. He's going to give me two, three good seasons. I mean, his hitting stats are already good as, as well. So let me show you what he did. So like I said, I did use him in the Marlins rebuild that I did today. And you can see he's up to an 86 overall at 32 years old. Contract. I signed him to a pretty good contract um, when his contract did uh, expire. 5.8 million is nothing. Look at these stats. He hit 25 home runs guaranteed. Home, uh, average was around 300. OPS was 800 and above. Hit 30 plus doubles. This guy was so key to the lineup. He was like my 4-5 hitter. He was so good. I think he might have actually been my 3. Yeah, he was my 3 hitter. So like he was one of the top hitters in the squad. He was very good a definite pickup all right so these next three the final three these ones are a little bit tougher to make a trade happen for but these guys are a big 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 pickup if you can get them this one's kind of the hardest one out of all of them and that's willie adamas of the rays and you're like well you said these were going to be easy trades let me tell you why i think this guy is super glitchy his hitting stats they don't look amazing now but let me tell you at 24 years old he's 80 overall a potential he's about to hit arbitration in a few years so you're not going to pay a lot of money but let me tell you he develops so well and he's already a really good fielder so you don't have to worry about that aspect of his game developing because he's already one of the better ones in the game that arm strength is 99 but his field his hitting stats develop so so quickly so like i said yeah he is kind of difficult to make a trade happen um i threw in chance cisco for this one and like you could throw in other players like renato nunez if you wanted to um a player that you know i'm looking at his stats and you're probably thinking why are you giving up two a potential players chance cisco he's not an a potential player cole stewart he's got 40s for per nines already and he's 24 years old so he really won't be mlb usable until maybe 28 29 30 years old with the way mlb progresses i'll throw in cole stewart i'll throw in chan cisco and i'm gonna get an mlb ready shortstop in willie adamas let me show you what this guy does because it's insane all right so willie adamas is a player i think is going to break out in real life like i think he's he's like right there on the verge of doing it so let me show you what he is he's up to an 86 after a few seasons hitting stats again they're not the, the craziest but look at those he's gonna hit you 20 plus home runs which is really solid for a shortstop average around 300 which is great ops 800 and above Above, hitting 20 plus doubles a season that's what you want from a shortstop 86 overall contract just hit 4 million in his second year of arbitration that's solid this is a shortstop you want all right this one was one of my favorites from last year michael conforto again one of those players that it's a little bit difficult to make this trade happen but if you got one of those a potential players that really aren't going to develop too well throw them in throw them in the deal make it happen because it's it's worth it um i mean you could even just go with the, that cole stewart chance cisco combo i mean you might not even need chance cisco to make this deal happen you might just be able to use cole stewart and there you go michael conforto in the squad again a very good player let me show you all right so he's moved to the twins in this rebuild or this franchise you can see his power numbers pretty solid and stats wise 30 plus home runs in the last three years hitting close to 300 ops is 900 and above it's actually 950 and above and i mean 20 plus doubles rbis through the roof very good player to pick up final player tim anderson so we got tim anderson you look at the stats here pretty solid and again a really easy player to trade for chance cisco basically gets the deal done we'll throw in that shortstop that we've been throwing in there's tim anderson let me show you those stats so you can see he's up to an 83 probably morale's bringing him down actually no um, contract still pretty solid at 4 million but look at his averages 300 and above hitting 30 plus home runs 100 plus rbis extra bases through the roof tim anderson is a very good player to pick up look at his attributes very very good vision's good power's good contact i would move him to second base and it'll bump up his rating even more you probably have a high 80s player and with that fielding it really fits him to play second base 
this is another good pickup and that's gonna end it guys so there are my glitchy players for your franchises or your rebuilds go and give them a try super easy to trade for and i hope you did enjoy the video thumbs up if you did enjoy it 500 likes for a rebuild tomorrow morning like i said i got the team picked out i'm ready to do it so let's see that 500 like goal and that's it guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy the video and turn on that bell icon to make sure you're notified whenever a video does go live and in the comment section let me know who are your glitchy players or your favorite players to go for and if you have any video ideas you want to see let me know down below other than that guys i'll catch you all in the next video peace